guys, it's Vic. It's the last Thursday of the month, so that means questions. Look at me go. Three Q&As in a row. Can anything stop this choo-choo train of questions? Uh, probably something can. But not this time. Woohoo! Let's answer some Qs. Epic Fries asks, question. Would you rather be killed by four splashdowns or four stingrays? I think I would go with the four stingrays, because at least I would have, like, a chance to dodge, and I probably could, like, make it funny, too. But with four splashdowns, y you don't even have a chance. What are you gonna do? Aim at all the splashdowns? I, I can't even kill one splashdown. I'm not gonna get four. Logan asks, what is the most annoying Splatoon 2 weapon to fight against? And let's go with the bamboozler, just because, like, I think people don't realize this, so, like, it has to be constantly told, but the bamboozler has a larger aiming radius than a lot of other charters, so it's also, like, easier to hit your shots if you have the accuracy to do that. So it's really hard to fight them, but it also makes it really fun to use. Q bamboos everywhere! <laughs> Kingdom Key asks, what would I do if there was a Battle Royale in Splatoon 3? Uh, I would play it and play Roller, because I feel like it'd probably be useful to be able to get rid of multiple people at once really efficiently. I think it'd be really great, especially if, like, Splatoon 2 could have a Battle Royale in a similar style to Ninjala. Then it'd be real good. Ooh, Cyclone's got a three-parter here, saying, I got a question. Do you play any sports? No. Or run? Uh, does college count? Or swim? I, I do that one. I like doing that one. Swimming is fun. But the other two, no, not really. This next one's a little bit biased. Y if you can't tell by the profile picture and the name being just pineapple, they ask, do you like pineapples? And I'll be honest, I do. But I don't really eat them because I think I'm allergic to them. <laughs> Whoops. Evgeny says, what are your thoughts about the Blob Lobber? Well, it actually ties in a lot to number two, because the Blob Lobber is a weapon that I covered the day that it came out. The first ad video that I made and put out was actually the Blob Lobber ad, which ended up doing really well on the channel and really well in the community, and kind of shot my channel up to grow it a lot. At that point before then, I had been mostly making like little funnies and guides and doing my streams, and not really doing too much outside of the box of the things that I was comfortable with. But the ads kind of gave me the opportunity to kind of grow my channel in a different direction. And I took it pretty well, as now I am funny ad woman. Booyah Back says, why did you choose the gear that you have? Honestly, the gear that I have is just gear that, like, I think would be very comfortable to wear. It's gear that I personally just, just like. <laughs> I don't own any Converse, but I did when I was young. I love wearing, like, big comfy jackets, especially from, like, Forever 21 or something. Like, if you ever go online and go to the men's section, I've talked about this before, I think, in other Q&As. But men's section forever 21 clothes. Ah, mwah, mwah, good stuff. And then I just like wearing hats. So that's that. Captain asks, if you could be any role on Broadway, who would you play? C could I be Alphaba from Wicked? Just so I could sing her jams? That's that's it? <laughs> just so I could sing the jams and not just do it karaoke style? I'd be down. Foet says, um, yes. Here's a question for Ms. Vic. Do you love when fans send you cursed images and memes? Yes, I do. In fact, uh, one of my friends, Misi, uh, a long time ago DM'd me like, Hey Vic, do you have a favorite meme? And I sent Misi one of my favorite memes, and she clapped back with an image of my inkling doing that cursed meme, and I'll link it in the description below as well as put it in the video. But yes, I, I do enjoy a cursed meme. Keep them coming. Chrissy asks, what is your hair color? Purple. Fizzle says, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? If you say mint chocolate chip, I'll unsub. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to unsub. We're all, we're all good here, Fizzles. Because my favorite flavor of ice cream is cookie dough. I don't even need, like, sprinkles or anything on it. Just give me plain ice cream. Happy Vic. Snip asks, what editing software do you use? I use Sony Vegas, and it never crashes, and there's definitely no problems that happen with it, and I always know exactly what to do when I want to make super cool editing tricks, and it definitely doesn't take me an hour to change one little thing every once in a while when I forget how to do something. I don't know what would ever make you think that. Fries asks, question one, where did you learn to sing? It doesn't sound like you never sang. It took my brain more than one attempt to read that question. <laughs> But, um, I did chorus all the way back when I was, like, in second grade, and I did chorus all the way through until I graduated from high school. I couldn't keep it really going in college, so I just kind of became more of a car karaoke hooligan. But I've had a lot of fun since, and I'm really glad that I can sing on the channel on occasion and entertain people with that, too. I want to make more songs in the future, and I said this in the last uh, Q&A. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make more songs in June. 
I didn't make any songs in June. Oops, I guess we gotta say July. And Fries also asks, do you ever think you'll make a face reveal? Uh, I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think I would do that. Cole asks, what is your favorite non-Nintendo game? If we're gonna go for like a silly answer here that has a lot of good memories, I, I gotta go with Neopets Darkest Fairy. <laughs> If, like, MMORPGs count, I think the thing that sunk the most of my time when I was growing up was Maple Story, though. So, we'll, we'll put Maple Story at number two, behind Neopets' Darkest Fairy at number one. <laughs> Wolfchild asks, am I a Sonic fan? I am a Sonic fan by association, because all of my friends are Sonic fans, and they got me back into it in the last, like, couple of years. So I'll say yes, I am a Sonic fan now. And honestly, I think I just, I like our boy Sonic. I think my favorite one is the title boy. We love our blue burr. We love our blue blur. Blue blur. Blue blur. Wow, that's a hard one. Glass says, I'm making the assumption you watch Steven Universe based on some of the covers you've put out. <laughs> so my question is, who is your favorite character? I love Pearl. She's my favorite one. That's why most of my covers have been about Pearl. I, I, I love our girl. Pearl is our girl. Also, is saying Glass asks a tongue twister. It's not as bad as I thought. Like, Glass asks. Glass asks. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Meme Dragon asks. Okay, in this question, by the way, I wasn't going to answer it, but then I looked at it closer, and they were like, what is your favorite mythological creature? It says humanoid, yokai, monster, zebras, etc. So I think my favorite mythological creature is a cat that doesn't try to rush out the door whenever you open it, because I don't think those exist. Angboy asks, have you ever played a fighting game that isn't Smash? If Ninjala counts, yes. Otherwise, no. <laughs> Bamboo asks, since you said you haven't played Fire Emblem, oh, wait, next question, next question. Uh, have you played Splatoon before? Uh, next question. Sounds like a game I would never play. Oh, okay, look, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Hexbox asks, how is your day going when you're recording this? It it's going pretty good. People keep asking me about weird video games, but... It, it, it's, it's pretty nice. I had a nice little bowl of cereal like an hour ago. I'm all hydrated. Make sure to drink some water. I hope your day is going good too. To literally anybody who listens to this. Hi. Mild says, so somebody asked a why question. So I'm going to ask a how question. I turn on the mic and I say words. That is how I do these Q&As. You're welcome. Next question. Deb asks, if your five-year-old mind, oh god, <laughs> inhabited your current day body for a day, what would five-year-old Vic do? Uh, I think if baby had power, I'd be very concerned, because five-year-old Vic was a very hyper, very active child that would, you know, stand at the end of the driveway and scream to the neighbors, Hi! I'm Victoria! So I don't know if I really want to give her that power. <laughs> I think I would just respond to every single comment really aggressively, no matter how old it was, and just burn the entire day typing. I, I couldn't even use a computer when I was five, besides like little art programs, but we'll, we'll pretend for the sake of this that five-year-old Vic obtains the knowledge of being able to write at least semi-decent sentences. Squaggy's asked a really good question. He asked, uh, if you could change or remove a single video that you've made as if you hadn't uploaded it yet, what video would you edit? How would you edit it and why? I think I would go back to that me channel, but it's Splatoon video, and make it so the audio in that video actually matches up better to the audio in the video because like it was a rushed project that I did in like the break between a couple of my classes at college I was like I don't want to leave this room until I finish the video just for fun and uh it, it, it's done really well for itself since and I really wish that it was more than a one-day project but I don't want to take it down so it's just there forever I get a comment on it every once in a while people praising it and I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa. wait can you wait I have other videos over here where the editing's a little better ah Fizzy asks, if you were anything other than a YouTuber, what would it be? I mean, I do work a full-time job, but I guess if I had to work a different full-time job, part of me wouldn't really be against going into teaching. I don't have a teaching license. I have a master's in mathematics, but I don't have a license for teaching, so I can't actually teach math. I was a student assistant for a while in college, so that's about as close as I got. I had office hours and all that jazz. But I think I'd be down to be a math teacher. Like, I wouldn't have gone into math if I wasn't inspired by my math teacher. So maybe I'd be able to do the same for some other people out there. That'd be pretty cool. So Blue Kirby and Isaac both ask pretty much, uh, how would you feel about a sploosh with infinite range? And how would you feel about a sploosh with a scope? 
I'll say, I'm gonna pick whichever one of these two gets me more missiles faster. Thanks. A banana asks, do you like Pokemon? If so, what is your favorite Pokemon game in existence? As I mentioned in the last Q&A, my favorite Pokemon is Cyndaquil. My username is also a Pokemon pun. It's literally Vivian with a C thrown in there. So it's Vivian. Wow! But I do like Pokemon. And the reason that I get through this question is because uh, my favorite game of all time is probably Pokemon Ruby because that's like the first game I played that actually made sense to me. But I've been enjoying Pokemon since I was like five or six. I was really, as I mentioned, kind of kind of hyper when I was a kid, and I'm pretty sure I like stepped on the TV remote and accidentally started watching Pokemon that way. That's how I remember it at least, that it was just totally an accident. So I think that's a pretty big W, seeing how far Pokemon has taken me. I was actually really, really deep into the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire community before I tumbled into Splatoon. So if I didn't do Splatoon stuff, I probably would still be doing Pokemon now. I think this guy is asking potato or potato. Cause I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if he's going for potato or potato here. Arch Omega says, ready for the best question that can be asked. I'm quoting myself here, but here it is. All I'm, all I'm seeing is a question mark. So I'll say, Yes. <laughs> I don't actually have an answer for this one. I just saw it and I just... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Well, I was like, yes, this is, this is what I'll type for my rat joke. I'm like, <laughs> thanks. Don Coro says, hi Vic. So you remember Scream and Run, right? Well, how do you do that since we are in quarantine? Do you do circles around your house or something? Okay, no. What I do is uh, I get back a little bit in my chair. And I just, I just spin. Whee! I, I don't actually know if you can hear any difference in the mic when I spin. But right now, promise, I am spinning. And it's hopefully great. Next question, please. Blue Boo asks, question for Vic. Why did you start the Sunday Funday streams? When I started the Sunday Funday streams, I was really dipping my toes back into competitive Splatoon. Like with a new team that I had joined. And I wanted the opportunity to be able to practice a variety of weapons in a no-stress environment, really. So I would just do Sunday Funday because I could play whatever weapon I wanted to or whatever weapon my teammates needed me to play with because I was being a flex for them. And I just got to have a lot of fun. I didn't really mean to blow my channel up in part by doing streams. And I never had really streamed before like the private battle streams besides a couple of times and people really liked what I was doing. So I just made it a regular thing and gave it a name and I've been doing Sunday Fun Day for like two and a half years now, including the not numbered ones. So <laughs> I think that worked out. JT Balu says, question, if we could have another tournament Splatfest like TMNT style, what four teams would they be? Okay, all right, hear me out, hear me out. All right, all right, hear me out. We gotta test various sandwiches, all right? We're gonna see which sandwich is the best. We got peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and fluff, you know, good old marshmallow fluff, and of course, peanut butter and pickles. Easy. Easy four team Splatfest. No problems with that, right? Let's just, let's go. Let's go. I'll see you on the other side. Get ready to tussle. Splat Ruler asks, what do you like better, the Ultra Stamp or the Booyah Bomb? The Booyah Bomb, because when I play the Ultra Stamp, I miss every single time. I, I can't even remember the last time on stream that I threw a stamp and actually got a kill with it. So we're going to go with the Booyah Bomb. Throw out the tower. All your problems are over. Easy. Now, Joey had a really interesting question. He asked, if one question... <sighs> If one weapon class had to be erased from existence, what class would you choose? I would pick Charger. Not not because I hate playing Charger, even though I'm not great at playing Charger, but just because I could be a little less self-aware and I could get away with it. Cause I don't I, I don't pay attention sometimes. I die to chargers all the time. If there's no more chargers, then I don't have to worry about that. Except I'd probably just get mowed down by slathings instead, but it, it, it trades a trade. <laughs> Umbreon says, hey Vic, what do your pets like to do? Well, Bridget, the dog, likes to sit on the couch and sit on the couch and then sit on the couch some more. We put her outside and then she comes back inside and sits on the couch some more. Yeah. And then all my other cats just kind of do what they want. Some days they're tussling with each other across the house and you hear just like <laughs> all them running all over the place. Other times they stare at me as I go to refill the water bowl for the third time in a row during the day. Thanks, guys. And other times they're just they're just sleeping because the cats do best. They sleep. Tippy likes to steal dairy. Pebbles likes to steal food. And Ziggy 
Uh, doesn't steal any food except when you're not looking. The other two do it and look at you in the eyes. Ziggy just waits until nobody's around. And then you realize that that wrapper that you had half a bagel sandwich in is just kind of mysteriously gone. The other ones, they just look at you and they do it. <laughs> Six Pixel says, what is it like in the future? If the future is now, seeing as this question is three weeks old, I'll say it's doing pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling pretty happy and healthy right now, and I hope you are too. My mood is sky high because Ninjala just came out last night, so things things are really good. I am just, <laughs> I'm so excited to play more Ninjala on the channel. And speaking of things that I should play more on the channel, Xenoblade? Oh, Xenoblade is so good. I'm only like, what, like three streams worth of gameplay in, but I really want to see where it goes. We just got, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anybody who hasn't played the game themselves, but we have just gotten a lot of the, uh, we've gotten a lot of the main characters by now. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the game. Suesh says, can this be the last question? Alright. 